Yeah, I was gonna do this last week and I didn't because stuff happened. Actually, what did happen last week? Oh, I was busy doing um voiceover stuff. I was finishing up auditions and stuff like that, and I didn't want to uh, interrupt it since I had stuff to do on Saturday, which I might talk about. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I decided this week I'll do three streams. I'll do a full stream tonight and tomorrow, and then a partial on Thursday before a Critical Role. And I've also got other stuff to do Thursday, so it's probably going to be shorter anyway. Uh, I'm going to do this. This probably won't take more than one stream. If it takes the beginning of the next stream, so be it. And then I'll probably move on to Castlevania. Uh, I was torn between Symphony and Aria. I'm probably going to do Aria, just because it's easier and I know it's going to run at, at least. After that, I have Parasite Eve 2 planned. And uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to stream that, honestly, just because it's computer shit. So, this is Mario Land 2. Uh, you know, most people know this game. <laughs> um, let me just check something real quick. This isn't a normal version of Mario Land. Mario Land, Mario Land 2, though. Uh, this, actually... Okay. <laughs> um, this is a special modded version called uh, Super Mario Land 2 DX, which is in full color, full Game Boy Color palette color. So it's actually, like, made to work, like, with the Game Boy Color, instead of it just being kind of, like, a generic Super Game Boy palette. Um, other than that, the big change is that there's this little opening here on the, on the uh, file select screen, and if you go through it, you get Luigi, who actually plays like he does in the other Mario Land games, or Mario Brothers games, where he moves a little faster, but he's slippery, and he jumps a little higher. It's pretty cool, actually. I didn't play the whole game, I just kind of tested it out. And uh, I was surprised that Luigi was in it, because I thought the mod was only supposed to colorize it. Didn't think it was supposed to flat out, like, add new stuff. This isn't like the version Vinny played at the beginning of the year, where it was just, like, really weird looking and otherwise the same. This, this is, you know... I mean, you're looking at what's all that's different. Better color palette and Luigi. And I figured, you know, Mario's been to this game enough. It's time to put Luigi through his paces. You can actually change on the menu, too, if you press select. It'll, like, reload the map with the other character. So, yeah, he pretty much... He plays exactly like you think he would. He runs a little faster. It takes him a bit longer to slow down. And, uh, he jumps higher. Which could probably break the game if done right. I actually did not play this game when it came out. I played... Well, I mean, then again, Game Boy... At that time in my life, I didn't buy my own game, so... Playing anything was more dependent on whether or not people got it for me. But I do remember playing, uh... Wario Land before this game. I believe I got this game used at Funko Land once because I was just like, Oh, my friends have it. I want to play it. And it was fun. I enjoyed it. <laughs> I thought it was interesting. I thought the bunny ears were interesting since they never showed up in any other game. Anyway, the point of the stream is to hopefully get 100%. I mean, that shouldn't take more than three hours. But I'm also fucking around a bit, so... I'm gonna try not to overly break the game. Interestingly, does, isn't this the game where Mario gets like a little feather in his cap when he has the fire ability? It's weird that they didn't add that for Luigi. I will say though, they, they really went through the trouble of... of making Luigi, like, a different character. It's not like Mario World, where it's the same sprite.
Got something? Yep, got an extra life. Neat. That was always weird that you can never actually go in there again. Once you beat that mushroom house, you can never go back in there. So this is the extra life slash power up room. Uh, you could spend coins to play like a roulette wheel. Not really necessary, though you can win like 50 up. Ooh, that was a weird glitch right there. From the uh, 999 coin one. It's a little buggy. Again, game wasn't made to do that. <laughs> here first. Uh, that always thought was interesting that they put, like, overworld levels in this game, even though they're not really necessary at all. The, the only thing that happens is you get the exit number on your, uh, file select screen, which turns out there's no cap on it. People thought, like, oh, if you go over the number of exits in the game, the, game, the file select screen would crash. It's actually not true. Uh, you can load it up all the way to, I guess, hex number FF. Because it's where it runs in hex. The color palette just changed. Look, like it just got darker. I think it's. Imp I actually think that's intentional. I think the game is doing that on its own. Yeah, it is. Oh, that's cool. I don't think the Game Boy version of the game did that. Guess it's supposed to, like, rep- Ooh, his head got a little fucked up there. It's supposed to represent the, uh, change in time of day, I guess. Uh, well, let's go to Tree Zone first, because that's the easiest. There's no indication in this game of when a level has hidden exits. You just kind of have to assume. Though I believe when you take a hidden exit, it changes the background of a stage? Or is it when you beat a zone? I don't know. Well, we'll find out soon enough. Let me just make sure everything's running here. Okay, it's running. It's good. We're good. Everything's good. Also, gotta say, this game's music, fantastic. It's got a very, like, unusual soundtrack for an early Mario game. That's intentional. Yep, there it is. It's Luigi. It's Luigi. Yep. Oh my god, Luigi. The true jump man. Oh fuck. I can't believe I've done this. Here. Actually, Luigi could probably make that. Oops. But yeah, this was the game I was going to plan to fill the end of September with, and then when I missed the end of September, I'm like, yeah, you know what, I'll just do it at the beginning of next week. I 
think I got the carrot. Yeah, I did. See, the bunny ears were an interesting power-up. They let you... They let you float. When you tap it fast enough, you, like, barely fall at all. It's also interesting because in this, like, goo stuff, if you hold it down, you just swim straight up without stopping. For some reason, this is the only pa that power up's the only one that lets you do that. Please do not shut down stream, Nintendo. Uncle Reggie is gonna... Uncle Reggie's gonna give, give me the punishment time. I was gonna say something much worse there, and then I'm like, no. Hey Mario, check it out, it's my own game! You know, something I always thought was weird, Cartoon Luigi sounds a lot like Yogi Bear, and I'm wondering if that's intentional. It wasn't the same voice actor, though, was it? It couldn't have been. You wouldn't know since you don't know anything about Yogi Bear. Uh, he loves picnic baskets and torturing a ra uh, park ranger. Oh yeah, see, beating the hidden stages changes the background of the, of the areas. Also, it's really weird because you can't actually go back to hidden stages without taking the hidden exit again. Any any stages that are like ex like secret exits, you can only do once you've done the secret exit. Like, if you want to replay it, I have to do the secret exit again. What I found weird is that Nintendo basically adopted Luigi's cowardly personality from the Super Show into canon. Not as extreme as it was in the cartoons, but it's there. I mean, that's the thing too, like, his personality in the shows was definitely... Nowhere near as cowardly as it comes off in the games. And I'm kind of wondering why they started that. Like, it started with Luigi's Mansion, that they kind of made him, like, the cowardly character. And I guess they just wanted to give him, like, something like a defining personality trait. Which is interesting, because by that very, na by that very nature now, he has more personality than Mario does. Mario's a sociopath, though. Eh. It's just a game theory. It's just a theory. I have not watched a single game theory video, and I think like two years now. 
And I never really watched them to begin with. I just kind of... Like, whenever one vaguely caught my interest, I would watch it. That was weird. Did I, like... No, never mind. The very early stuff was tolerable. Before we start pulling shit out of his nose. <laughs> Flower! Damn it! No, I can back out. Okay. Oh man, multiple pads. The game's really opening up. I gotta say, this game is very open. Like, you could go to any zone you want from the beginning. Which is pretty cool. It's the first truly open world Mario experience. Better be careful about how high up I'm going. Have you been to Mario's crotch yet? No. I just started. I'm doing Tree Zone because it's the easiest. See, the thing with this game is that if you have the bunny ears, you can kind of break a lot of it by just flying across levels. And with Luigi, it's even more breakable because you could just jump really high. They honestly didn't change. I, I feel like this, like, because they tried to add the slip to Luigi to, like, make him... A little, yeah, they make his, like, when he speeds up, he's, like, a little harder to stop. But at the same time, it's really not, it doesn't offset the jump bonus he gets over Mario in this game. Press the A button. Oops. Nice. Time for the bees. If I'm not mistaken, there's a huge glitch you can do in this stage that, like, just warps you, like, downwards or something. Then again, a lot of this game can be done that with that in, um, in, uh, the pumpkin zone. There's a glitch that lets you pretty much end the game immediately. Those skull bees are always freaks me out, because you can't kill them. They just collapse and then come back up. Also, I believe they could go through walls, so they could just chase you. One downside to the, uh, to the bunny ears, you cannot, uh, spin jump with them on.
I say there's very uh it's very hard not to get the bell in these levels. Extra life. Time for the burb. Also, another weird thing with this game, you can't actually redo the boss levels either. Like how in Mario World, you can't normally go back into the castles unless you hit L and R. In this game, there's just no way... Oh, I, hit, I beat 100 enemies. See, when you beat 100 enemies, you get an instant star. Doesn't really matter in this level, though. Are pumpkins just fox melons? Good question. But yeah, you can't actually um, return to boss stages in this game unless you get killed, or you lose all your lives, rather. Then uh, the, the bosses get all their coins back and you have to beat them all to go to the final level again. Which is like, I don't know. I'm not too big into that whole concept. It's like, okay, you got a game over, even though you did all this stuff and managed to save. Uh, yeah, you gotta redo it anyway. Final Moon level is the best music I know. Yeah, it does. I mean, of course it does. Oh, I can't, uh... Oh, never mind. Ah! Yeah, the hitboxes in this game are big, which isn't always a good thing. Doesn't never mind. Guess bosses in this game don't have multiple attacks. Oh, it's like, wait, is the flag always an X? Yeah, it is. All right, time to go to Mario's crotch zone. All right, so let's just rip open a shoe and go and do there. If I'm not mistaken, this is the only zone that has no hidden levels in it. Why does Mario Zone exist? Why is there just a giant mechanical statue of him? Why does he have a castle, too? Like, what, what, what weird subsection of the Mushroom Kingdom are we in?
Whoa, whoa. Surprised I didn't get hit there. that was there and now it's gone and lots of coins. I rung that motherfucking bell. I smashed that motherfucking like button. Nothing. Okay, now we're going to Mario's crotch zone. His crotchal region. This is the golden. This is the golden groin I mentioned in the title. Look, he's got. Look how many balls he's got. Some of them even spiked. He barbed his balls. Oh, beating those, uh, spit spittle balls, uh, counts as, um, counts as an enemy. Bailout. Okay, now we're gonna go on Mario's tongue, an area that Luigi is very familiar with. here, but I guess not.
Again, easily cheesable. I don't think there's anything hidden over there. Oh shit, you can walk right off that. Alright. Whoops. Pretty sure that uh, for Mario's sprites, it actually goes through him. Like, you actually see the thing clip around him. First death. Whoa, the colors got kind of fucky. I don't think that was supposed to happen. Going for the carrot, but good enough. Yeah, I guess that's it. There's only four levels here. Love this level as a kid. I was like, oh, cool, Legos. Even though it's not actually Legos. <laughs> They're uh, NMB bricks, as it says right there. Which are actually a brand of, like, Legos that uh, Nintendo made back in the, uh, I guess, mid 1900s. Back when toys were still their thing. Second boss time. I forgot to jump right in the middle. This one, I believe, yeah, he bounces. The other one jumps a lot. Mm-hmm. 
Fuck. Tiny Weej saves the day. turtle zone next. I hate, I don't like this zone, getting to the hidden level, I remember, is, uh, not fun? But then again, I was a little kid, so who knows. Why does the tree zone have, like, six levels, while this one only had, while the other two only have four? Oops. Thought you could step on them. So far, like, it's four levels each, because there's three and a hidden one here. I believe the hidden exit's in the second level. get up there. I don't know how, though. <laughs> Maybe you need bunny ears and jump from another place. Bag. That gives you 50 coins, I believe. So I just go through the thing's blowhole and come through, like, its head anus or something. Because that path clearly looks like it goes indoors. Or inside. Not indoors. You don't go indoors. Oh, a whale. Or do you? If you lived inside of a whale, would be going into it be considered going indoors? down from that way? I don't think I did. No, I didn't.
And I remember this, the hidden zone here being kind of hard to find, and I don't remember why. Ow. I got poked. Oh, that just loops around. Oh, maybe this is it. Maybe I'm just not used to being small on this level. Small. Small Luigi. Ah, oh, fuck you. Yeah, I think that's the hidden exit. That's why it's annoying, because it's actually like a challenge to get to it. for the normal exit first. I could always come back to it. Oh, never mind. You can't go that way. Also, it's worth noting the infinite swimming thing. That only works in the goo in that one tree level. It does not work in water. Oh, you can't go through that pipe. Can't go through that peepee. -pee. That pipe. Wow, this area kind of sucks. It's actually very cleverly laid out, too. You wouldn't expect this kind of level of, like, maze-like area in a, in a Game Boy Mario game. at max coins already. pipe over there that I didn't actually reach before. If 
on with that. Okay, let's go back and do the hidden level first. See, now this is an interesting challenge because they force you to be small to reach this hidden exit, so... Let me see something here. Can I bring this with me? No, you can't. As far as I can tell, there's no hidden item here. Can't say that you've ever heard of this game before. You never heard of Super Luigi Land 2? Six Cold and Groins? It's the best game ever. I already got one of the groins. Two of them, actually. One of them, quite literally, in the Mario Zone. Whoever that is. there, finally. Oh, no. There we go. So, like, oddly enough, this counts as a turtle zone level, even though you're not actually in it. It's the same case with the pumpkin zone levels as well. Zero. Don't know who that is. Ooh. Mari Zero Land. Two. What could that mean? I like the colors they chose to uh, make the pipes in this level. They're like very light green. Max coins. Also now, because I did the hidden level, the whale is awake. Before I go in there, though. Trying to blow all my coins. Alright. Let's see what I'm getting. Come on, 99 up! Oh my god, I got it! I got the max lives, that was the best thing you could get from that. Oh, you're never gonna see a game over now. Thank you. 
It's not easy to get that, actually. That's the rarest thing on that wheel, I believe. Oh yeah, you can infinite swim in this. These, like, whale intestines. Again, very interesting aesthetic for a stage. Whale innards. Whale innards with slow poke tails everywhere. I see why. It's because the goo, the goo, like, material counts as you jumping, just very slowly. Whereas the water, you actually have to swim. That's why you can't do an uh, infinite swim glitch. It's not really a glitch, infinite swim trick in the water. What is this? I believe this is a octopus. Yeah, he is. Oh, and the ceiling has bumps on it. Three down. I'm already halfway through the game, and I'm only an hour into the stream. Alright, so what's zone next? Oops. Didn't mean to switch to that red guy. Don't know who he is, but... Looks familiar. It's spooky time. Oh, never mind. We're going right back down the path because apparently this controller was a piece of crap. All right, we're going back in. There's two hidden levels here. So this world has six levels. Uh, hold on one sec. All right, we're good. This is the stage where you could glitch the game and just get to the end immediately. There's like a glitch where you could like fall to the floor. Or that might be level two, I'm not sure. totally meant to do that. You see me make a mistake. It's intentional. Like a 
path up there, but I don't know if you could get to it. Doesn't seem like you can. That doesn't look like there's anything there anyway. Yeah, carrot. Oh yeah, this is the area. This this level's filled with a lot of like Japanese monsters. Like yeah, you got the yokai, the umbrella, the tongue monsters. I believe there's like the tengu that throws the shoe as well. Very interesting choice of a level for a Mario game. And you got the blue spirits. I feel like this is important, and I don't know how to get in there. Yeah, there's the Oni. Luigi, ring the damn bell. Touching that'll turn me back to normal. Oh, it does, wow. Troll mushroom. Oh, just remembered I have max lives. I don't need to grab any. down here. I love how early those spikes fall. Like, there's no way they'll hit you. I need to take damage here because I need to be able to break those blur Those blurks, those blocks. The only way to, uh, spin- again, if you have the bunny ears- Shit, if you have the bunny ears, you can't, uh, spin jump. Oh boy, coin field. There's like hidden items at some points, but I can't remember where they are. Yeah, I believe it's just a big coin field that, you know, you can farm coins from, <laughs> and that's it. There's an exit door right there.
It seems that any hidden levels that lead back to the world map don't, uh... Don't... Aren't challenging. Like, they're just kind of coin levels. Also, by beating that, now the pumpkin's eyes are different. Ceiling's a little lower than it seems. Again, I cheesed out that jump there. I don't think Mario would be able to make that one. No change, got the same power up. Okay, there's a hidden exit here as well. I believe they hurt you if you... Yeah, you can't kill them. to fall down there. Or there. It's actually really dark on my screen. Let me turn that up. Interesting, there's no bottomless pits here. place to jump up, otherwise that happens. I believe the hidden exit here has to do with these flashing blocks. There's like a hidden set of them somewhere. I can't remember though. Yeah, 
Yeah, here they are. I just kind of flew over the level, though. <laughs> Again, bunny ears break everything. This is actually a little harder as Luigi just because his jumps are a little floatier. but I'm going for it anyway. And now there's booze dancing on the uh, graveyard. That's cool. The little touches. Not have enough momentum there. I wonder how you're supposed to know that there's a hidden exit over there. There's like no real indication of it. Oh, I guess, yeah, the arrow pointing up. They don't leave you completely in the dark. Alright, boss time. Isn't that like a puzzle of some sort, or am I thinking of something else?
Yeah, here we are. This area is like kind of like a puzzle. If you fall down here, you can't get out. Do anything. <laughs> Loose cannot be killed. down as easy as the rest. Oh boy, time for everyone's favorite zone. coin there. They have ants with spikes on their back. Ants that could shoot shit, and ants that dig up boulders out of nothing. trap there. I don't think it's possible to uh, get the hidden exit if you hit that block. The hidden stage in this world is actually interesting because it's the only one that actually creates a shortcut to the end of the world without a... Uh... Oh wait, no, maybe this is uh, the hidden exit up here. Unlike every other hidden stage in this game, uh, this one actually just gives you a straight-up path to the uh, final level, which in reality only saves you one level, because you're already doing a second level to get there, so you're only cutting down the commute from three levels to two. Also, it's an auto-scroller.
No enemies in this level either. It's kind of interesting. Anyway, I'm not going that way yet. Also, another interesting thing, this is the only hidden level in the game where you could just go to it without having to, uh... without having to beat the level that has the exit for it again. All the other hidden levels, you have to actually beat a second time through the hidden exit if you want to go back to that level. I'm curious what's in that other pipe, though. Probably just goodies, but... Now I have to know. Extra lives. Not bad if I didn't already have 99 of them. the end of the level, too. Yeah, whatever. Sideways bug. Can't go down these. Oh, they fly. Neat. Block you can only hit if you don't have bunny ears. Or small. You can't spin jump if you're small either. Honestly, this game's going a lot quicker than I thought it would. thought it takes about three hours to beat, but apparently not.
Oh, look at that. Reward exploration. Good idea. Oh, I need, um... I need more, uh, fire flower for the... Oh, nice. Okay. Pipe, asshole. I'm sure, there was another way to get up there. I don't think Mario could have just jumped up there. Chimney. Again, doesn't really matter. Here, I think it's a rat, a giant rat, or I guess a regular sized rat that just looks big. What the hell? What was that? A little witch stole the one up. Oh, I see. The witch carries the one up, and you could grab it from them. Oh, fuck. Why did I move there? That was weird. Was a spiky. Bad. Another one ten one try. One and done. All right, one more zone to go. You need to get both exits in this area for it to count. This area is actually really big, but you could just kind of cheese it by flying over the top of the level. 
Yeah, there's like a whole up underground or whole underwater area. A sky area. This, this level's actually really big. And it's got the unique, like, bubble flying mechanic. At this point, uh, bunny ears actually aren't useful anymore, just because of the way the uh, last zone is set up. Yeah, there's two exit doors, there's the bottom and the top, and I believe the bottom just takes you outside. Yeah, it just dumps you out right there. I think you do have to do it twice for it to actually count all the exits, though. So this is how I cheese this level out. I just jump in the bubble, fly straight up while running. It actually takes you across the entire level. Room, which I'm gonna back out. I don't want that. Oh, yeah. Best zone in the game, which is only two levels plus one hidden one. So here, there's low gravity. You can't fly with the bunny ears, so getting them is pointless. That's why uh, fire flowers in this level are the best. Hey Kai, what's up? Just enjoying an evening at home? Yeah, that's pretty good. I mostly was just around home today, too. I haven't been out in a while. Actually, no, that's not true. I went out Saturday. I forgot about that. I went to a meetup to play Mega Man Battle Network with a bunch of people. One up, which we don't need, but whatever. Yeah, it was pretty fun. I'm looking forward to doing it again, and actually, that got me into wanting to play Battle Network Online, which people are setting up the ability to do. Look at that really sinister-looking planet. Whoa, whoa! Capcom should remake it and put online in it. Yeah, they should. Right now, I'm just thankful that they're not ignoring Mega Man anymore. That's interesting. If you fall off, you fall to normal speed, but you can stop yourself. I never noticed that. 
Also, I don't know why I'm collecting coins either. I have max coins and max life. Figure this out. There's a hidden exit up ahead. There it is. And you get the legacy collection so you can catch up on the series. The only problem is that the legacy collection does not have Mega Man and Base, which takes place between 8 and 9. But otherwise, the collections are pretty good. Oh man, I've completely forgotten how to get up there. I think it's. I think the entrance isn't actually here. It's over here, I, I believe. Yeah. Oh, you have Mega Man and base on the GBA. Okay, and you're you're cut. You're covered. You're set. There it is. We got our hidden thing. That are in. Seem like I'd make that, but whatever. It's a bit harder with Luigi's physics. Down here, yeah, there's just another path to the stage. Like, if you fall, this is another bonus stage. Alright, now we just gotta go to this stage one more time. Spike. Okay. Managed to avoid certain disaster. Doesn't matter, but I do not want the carrot. <laughs> I need the I need the firepower. Actually, it doesn't even matter. This is an auto scroller, and I don't believe there's any enemies I can actually kill. Best music in the game here, by the way. Also, you could fly infinitely. Save the best for last. Thank <laughs> you. 
that enemy you could kill. <laughs> but only once inflated. Uh, they put that checkpoint really close to the end of the stage, which I guess is okay if you die, but... Man. Also, I love how they put the final boss of the first Mario Land game. as just a stage boss in this game. Again, another victory where I'm small Luigi at the end. level to go. Hour and 45 minutes into the stream. Yep, time to fight Wario. is legitimately challenging. Oh, fuck. I didn't know that was there. Was that there originally? I feel like that was added in. Anticipate the spin. small ball being there by this last statue. time to jump again. Can't 
can't get that one without uh, hitting the fire. And I forgot that was there. Shit. Don't worry, I, I still have 90-something lives here. I'm fine. Ninety-five now. I don't like how that thing just doesn't shoot. How does Mario get all the lava out of his castle after this is done? I'm sorry, Luigi. How does Luigi get all the lava out of his castle when this is all done? Really? Luigi, why are you so slippery? Drills a hole and drains all the lava out. I mean, it's magic. We know it's all magic. Okay, cool. It's like it doesn't really matter. I lose the mushroom no matter what. I die. Man, I don't remember the stage being this hard. There's a huge difficulty spike up to this point. I feel like this stage... You know why? It's because this whole game is very open-ended. You're meant to go in any direction you want from the beginning, so that the difficulty is balanced. But then the last level, they crank it up really high. Waiting didn't work. Also, again, using Luigi is, is kind of like a hard mode, because he's a little slippery. Which is funny, because I was commenting before that they, they didn't make him slippery enough <laughs> in this mod. Nope, nope, no, no. He just slides right off for some reason. I don't understand. Can I actually not do this as Luigi?
Okay, this is attempt, what, 10? Actually, isn't as many as I thought. I've only lost eight lives, so this is attempt number nine. that one. Sounds like it's about to pour outside. Oh my god, he actually just doesn't stay on the platform. You act you need to get on it at the beginning, otherwise he just slides right off. Okay, I made it. And lost it. There we go. What? I forgot about this. Point. Point. Oh, never mind. Hopefully it's avoidable. Oh, come on! Really? Really? After all that, really? Okay, attempt number 11. Very helpful, but whatever. Jump over that. Jump over that. And I couldn't avoid the last one. Luigi, please. Oh god, this part. Meat spikes. I got the, yeah, the, war, the Wari orbs. It's 
boring now. There's another room of two. Yeah, fireballs don't do shit. Boss time. There's no checkpoint in this uh, level either. I didn't realize that. Oh shit. Thankfully, you're given two free hits after every phase. Who the hell's that statue in the background? Fire flower at that point. Oh, they actually just gave him a color palette change instead of giving him the feather. That's nice. A yellow and white costume. out of here, Wario. Yeah, I like that. They actually went through the trouble of, of giving Mario, Luigi, and Wario new sprites for the uh, Fire Flower. Those sprites remain unchanged. Also, this is the, the Spanish version for some reason. But yeah, the ending is unchanged, even though I played as Luigi. Poor Luigi goes through all that work for that Mario guy, and then takes all the credit at the end. Effort of changing the ending so there's an L instead of an M. Yeah, they probably couldn't do that because there's only one cutscene. It's weird because, like, when you switch characters on the menu, uh, it like reloads the area. And then Mario went to have his own series of games. He hijacked the Mario Land games after this.
So there should be 38 on my, uh, file, if I did it perfectly. There's only one more Mario Land after this game, this one, then the Wario Land games became their own series. Well, no, this is the last Mario Land. Oh, well, I mean, Mario Land 1 was Mario Land 3. And then, yeah, he hijacked the series, and then it was over. I don't think there's anything... You can't end this. I don't think this music ends, either. Whoops. 31. Well, that's not right. Mario Land 2. All exits. That's clearly incorrect. Yeah, Wario did make an awesome anti-hero. Very fun to play as, too. Uh, Max, perfect file. How many of the gaming's 31 stages you found? Oh, there's only 31. Uh, did I miss anything? No, I didn't. I guess 31 is the, uh, the max. Someone said 38 was the max. But cool, I did it. I, I beat the game as, as Luigi. Be neat if they added, like, a hard mode. Just to crank up the difficulty a bit. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna stop here. It's been two hours, but I started an hour late. And I was gonna do a shorter stream later anyway, like, later this week. So what I'll do is I'll probably just, uh, kind of split the difference here. Do a full stream tomorrow and then do, like, a two and a half hour stream on Thursday. Just because I don't want to start my next game yet, since I would only be playing it for less than an hour anyway. I'd rather just start, uh, Castlevania tomorrow and then move on into Thursday with it. You're gonna get the same amount of it either way. I just won't force myself to start it tonight. So yeah, uh, that's gonna be it for tonight. Uh, do I want to host anyone before I go? I thought this game was going to take me an hour longer than it did. And the answer is not really... I'll just let Auto Host take it over. So yeah, uh, anyway, that's the stream. Thanks for coming, everyone. Really appreciate it, as always. Uh, and hopefully I will see you tomorrow for Castlevania. Aria of Sorrow. You guys have a good night.